with that, let's go ahead and jump right into uh, poor stops in SDS2. So the great thing about today's webinar, um, it's going to be a, a pretty simple one that's going to touch on everybody, right? If you're new to SDS2 and you don't know about the uh, solutions we have for detail and poor stop in the model, uh, we're going to teach you about that. If you're a veteran, maybe you just haven't jumped over to using the poor stop member, um, we're going to touch on some things there. We also have some new some new ways to put um, poor stop into the model that I want to touch on here in 23. So, a few different ways. Uh, the poor stop member that's been around in SDS2 for quite a while now. You should be familiar with that. If you're not, um, I'm going to expose you to it today. Basically, it's just going to add a single poor stop member inside the model. So you click two points. Uh, you go ahead and adjust your settings cap plates or studs or whatever you need to put on that uh, and then you're going to have that member in the model the poor stop component uh, which is new to 23 uh, is going to add poor stop materials to a beam and uh, what you're going to see with these different tools all three of them is that the interface is almost identical the difference on the component is you have the ability to go ahead and break that material up uh, into shorter lengths based on whatever you want your maximum or minimum lengths to be. And then it's going to add that as a material to the beam member for you. Uh, so replacing some of the old school ways we used to do that, which is adding a bent plate to it. This is going to be a more automatic approach. The poor stop tool. It's kind of a combination of the last two things I just mentioned. So it is a member, but it has the functionality of the component to where we can go in there and break it apart into uh, different size or different length members based on minimum and maximum lengths. And again, that functionality is going to stay the same um, with, you know, studs or cap plates or whatever else is already in there. So that's what we're covering today. We're going to jump over to the model and I'm going to kind of do some live demo here and uh, just kind of step you through adding each of these different types of four stop in as well as uh, going through some of these settings on each one, just to get you a little more familiar with what's inside the menus. So let's jump over to the model.